Hey everyone, I'm Russ Still. I'm on board here at the Gold Seal DC-3 with Captain Dan, and we've been getting a lot of questions, as you can guess. One of the ones that we keep getting over and over is, how do you go through an engine startup for an airplane like this? So Dan's going to run through it with us, and we're also going to learn three secrets about the DC-3 that a lot of people don't know. So Dan, what do we have here? Morning, Russ. How are Morning. you today? Good to see you as always. Thanks for inviting me out. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> it is. Let's talk about the DC-3. Yes, uh, sir. We're going to go ahead and start this thing and show people actually how to start a DC-3 step by step. And before we do that, I'm going to give you three secrets of the DC-3, pretty much unknown to a lot of people. And there's three big ones for maintaining a DC-3 and keeping it going. Uh, number one, we don't pull our props through by hand. Okay. And the reason is, is because of this thing we call hydraulic lock. So a mechanic or a trained person can push a prop through a little bit and sense for hydraulic lock, but the concept of pushing a prop through by hand 12 or 15 blades and attempting to pre-oil it is wives' tale. It's complete malarkey. We don't do it. That's okay. number one. All right. Number two, we use a power cart for most of our starts. The reason is, is that a power cart provides plenty of voltage and amperage to run the starter. The starter is an electric motor. That's all it is. What does any electric motor have to have to not get hot? It has to have voltage, proper voltage. Ship's batteries are often dead and can't pull the engine through fast enough, burn up the starter, and don't give this engine its proper rotation. This is where you get the pre-oiling effect by using our pre-oiler, which is number three, and a lot of rotation. That gets that oil case fully pressurized, and that is your secret number two. Okay, and the start cart's right below us right now with a bunch of batteries on there hooked in. Start cart, I got so much voltage <laughs> and amperage connected to this airplane right now, you can't believe it. So that's number two. Number three is we have a pre-oiler system on here, so when we go to start the engine, we operate a switch, which actually you'll hear it running. It starts taking oil right out of the oil tank and pressurizing the entire system so that we actually get an oil pressure indication prior to even turning on any fuel or magneto. We're going to spin the you-know-what out of this engine with the pre-oiler before we ever even think about it. How come we can spin this engine so long? Because we got a start cart. That That's starter right. is not going to burn up. That starter will spin all day long with voltage and amperage. We're not going to run a battery down, are we? And we're not going to run the battery down. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. What do you think? Are we ready to start it? <laughs> well, let's real quickly, let's go through just the switch layouts. We've got some electronics panels over here. Just real quickly, what are our panels here? Well, every DC-3 is laid out completely different. They built 14,000 of these things, so you're going to find every which kind of thing under the sun. But they've all got a few things in common. Here's a, here's a switch over here that controls whether you're on ship's power or auxiliary power. Okay. In our case, here's avionics. The rest of these switches are all lights, lighting control for inside and outside light. Seat belt light right here, landing lights, and our strobe lights. So we're going to get ready to start. We'll leave our strobe on. In the center panel here, ignition master, which kills all power to both magnetos. That's our ignition master switch, which you don't typically have on your single engine airplanes. Okay. So we'll turn our ignition master on. These are oil, low oil quantity indicators and these are feather buttons so if you lost an engine on takeoff you would mash a button and it would feather the engine for you okay and, that's, and this is how we do our, our mag selection right this is your magnetos right here i know they're old and archaic looking but that's what they are on all these old warbirds just like a 172 there's off left right and both okay just like a 172 okay all right and then over here on this panel um you've got uh starter primer there's our pre-order switch boost pumps just like on any piper or low wing airplane boost pumps uh, generator switches we don't have alternators we have generators so once we get a, an, an engine running we'll bring a generator okay. online pedo heat captain and co-pilots we got two of those instrument switch powers up all of our electric switches and then this is uh, some test equipment for our heater and heater controls and then up here we have uh, 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 amperage indications to show which generator is putting out what as far as amperage. And that's basically it. The rest of it is like a Piper Aztec or a Cessna 310, throttles, props, mixtures, and we have manifold pressure and RPM. And that's okay. all it is. It's just everything's time tens on big. Okay. All the knobs are big, all the controls are big. This thing was built in 38. 
and that's the way they did it. Yep, gotcha. Okay, so we'll do the engine start just like with your 172 or anything else. We're going to turn the avi keep the avionics master off Correct. while we do the power. But for the purposes of this video, once we get the first engine started, let's go ahead and flip the avionics power on because we'll need to talk through the intercom okay. so that we can record the audio. We'll flip it back off, then we'll do the next engine start after that. Sounds that fair sound to me. good to you? Yep. Yep. Okay, so avionics master is off. Take it away. All right, go ahead and give me some ship's power. There you go. Um, no, you're you're okay. Go ahead and leave that switch in the in that position there. Okay. All right. Our avion our master switch is on. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-oil it. Now watch in the up close video that you're gonna insert in here. Watch watch our oil pressure rise. All I've got on right now is the pre-oiler, and watch this oil pressure come up. No propeller is turning right now. Yeah, there it comes. But uh, here comes your oil pressure, and I'm gonna go ahead and spin this engine. All right, there's mixtures, mags. Fired right, right up. All right, let's go ahead and go to avionics on. There you go. Okay, we got this first engine running over there. Everything looking good, yep. Copy. Okay, first engine's running good and everything's looking good to you, right? Yeah, first engine's running good. We've got oil pressure and everything else looks normal. Okay, and, and like I said, we normally wouldn't turn the avionics master and go to the intercom here, but we just need it for the video. Okay, shall we go ahead and do an engine start for number two? Yeah, let's go ahead and just, all, right. uh, all you got to do is take the avionics off and we'll do the rest of it, okay? Okay, here we go. I got a boost pump on. Pre-oiler's on. All right, boost pump on, pre-oiler on. If you want to look outside your window there. You're clear. All right, here you go. And now I'm, I'm both pre-oiling the engine and I'm spinning it. It's doing great. Look how fast that thing is spinning. I'm going to let it spin. All right, pre-oiler's off, mixture's on, mags. Alright, you go to avionics on. Okay, okay. there you okay. go. We're, we're talking again. That thing started up. Nice belch of smoke, just like we like to see. Oh yeah. Running good, nice and smooth. So we're out here. We got two fans turning. Let's go to uh, let's go to battery now. Take that switch all the way up. There you go. And I'm going to go to generators on. And now we're on ship's power, and our generators are functioning. So we're actually charging the batteries now. And then we, uh, if we were actually going out flying, we'd run our after-start checklist and our pre-taxi checklist and uh, all those kind of things here. Sure. Okay, so that's pretty much how, how you started DC-3. A few secrets about the airplane. Engine startups, not too difficult. What you memorize a few switches and an order and just have that right touch on the throttle and the mixture, right? That's it. That's it. It's a, uh, it's, it's a crazy thing where you need all your fingers and your toes to start one of these big radials so uh, and uh, you got to listen to it uh, you got to it uh, these engines are always trying to talk to you and they're going to tell you what uh, what they need and then even after start before you get headsets on I always like to listen to each engine and uh, listen to, to what's going on out there and uh, uh, they're they're going to talk to you and they're going to help you through that start after start we got uh, good oil pressure our temperatures are good our temperatures are coming up and we uh, typically idle these things at about seven to 750 RPM, and we idle them for a long time like that. So we don't put any any pressure on these things. We just let them sit there and chuck for a little while. All right, so now that we've got the engine started, we're gonna let it sit here and idle for a, for a bit. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. It was great fun to do. We're gonna let these warm up, and for everybody else, good flying.